Hello guys, my name is Amin and welcome to another session of In the Depths of .NET. On this session, I want to talk about IL and how your .NET application works after the compile. Then, I want to talk about AOT on .NET 7. So, IL is intermediate language which allows .NET work with multiple languages like C Sharp, VB.NET and others. If you know about DLL in C++, I have to tell you that DLL in .NET and C++ are very different. Why? Because C++ code will become machine code after compile, but .NET will become IL. And I have to tell you that your DLL in .NET is managed. It means that it contains some metadata which describe your .NET application. But after .NET compiles your code to IL, it uses JIT on a runtime to compile your code to machine code, which is suitable for your platform environment that you are running your program on. First, .NET compiles your, your code to IL, and on a runtime, you, it uses the JIT to decide how to compile it to machine. Get information from your CPU, and based on your CPU architecture, it compiles to version that it needs to be. But I have to tell you that when you are using JIT, it will be a little slower than native code on C++. So enough with the talk and let me show you on a real code. Here I am on a console application on .NET and I'm using Rider for my IDE. It has some tools to allow me to show you more about IL. On tools right here, go to IL Viewer and click on that and you see a little window named IL Viewer. But when you build your code, let me build it. Okay, it's building. On IR Viewer window, you will see Rider decompiles your code to another version of C Sharp, low level C Sharp, high level C Sharp, and IL. On this window, you can choose which one do you want to use. So I use IL and let's see what it will show me. Okay, here's some mess up code that none of us none of us will understand. And you don't need to change this code and no IL. IL is low level language and you don't need to know it. It's like assembly but it's a little bit higher level than assembly but it's still low level. If you watch my async ecosystem uh, video you will know about IL. We used IL viewer on there to see what will happen on .NET when we use async keyword. If you don't know what will happen just see my previous video on this playlist and figure it out. As you see here is uh, some codes that defines our variable and other stuff on here. .NET runtimes contains JIT and by using JIT it will run your code based on your CPU architecture and your system that you are running on. You don't need to know IL but you have to know how .NET works. There might be some times that you need to change your IL but believe me don't do that. Never try to avoid changing your IL. It just doesn't work very well. Okay. but on .NET 7, you can ignore your JIT compiler and just compile it with AOT. It means ahead of time. You just say which platform that you want to get your application, you want to run your application on, and it gives you some native code on your application. Right click on your project and go to publish and choose local folder. On here, on here, target runtime, instead of portal, use the specific platform that you want to run your code on. For example, I want to win 64 bit and I choose it. And if I apply this setting and I run, it will publish my code AOT. You can do it on Visual Studio and if you are using VS Code, you can use CLI in .NET. There are commands on that. So my project is published and let's see what it, what it done. So. Let me just copy this path and open it right here. Okay. As you see, it gives me my project on AOT, which is very small and it's faster than JIT compiler. Okay, that was AOT, but it wasn't native AOT. It has .NET libraries on it, but I want to use native. So I back on here and use Windows 64 bit and I, I take this producing a file by clicking on it my libraries will compile to native libraries too so I run this I, I publish this and let's see what will happen okay it's done and let me just copy the path okay here it is you see there's just exit file and I can run it and it's small it's native win64 program and it's very smaller on bigger scale your project okay but there are some limitation on your native publish yes and you have to wait for dotnet 8 and higher to it will be suitable for your project many features are not available on native publish yet but it, they will fix it on dotnet 8 and higher so 
it still has some work to do to work with native AOT, but it is still a good thing to know that .NET is growing very faster and better and on a smaller size and native programs. So thanks for watching and if you like this video, like this video, share it and don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a comment if you want it.